Hey guys, it's great to see you today. I know I've mentioned in maybe a few recent videos where I've talked about some great blushes and I'm like, I think this might be a dupe for something. I think that might be a dupe. And this past weekend, I really had time to sit down and confirm that yes, I have some dupes on my hands here. We're talking Rare Beauty, Tower 28, Persona. I'm gonna show you these dupes. There were a few that I could put on my face today, but obviously I can only layer up so much blush because these are all pretty much in the cheek category. So I got five Five different blushes, most of which are a cream or liquid formula, and then also a contour and um, sort of a glowy prep stick slash highlighter type of product. And I do try to make the distinction, my friends, that there's a difference in my mind between a dupe and something that's really similar. If I have something that's not quite a spot on dupe, but it's really, really close, I'm going to call that similar. I feel the things that I have to share in this video are dupes with one exception, and I'm going to save that till the end. I think it's very similar, and I think it's okay to to say that. I feel like people get kind of like, oh, we need to call it a dupe so it'll get the views and it'll get whatever, but let's not water that down with just a bunch of things that are similar. If it's similar, say I got products that are similar. If it's a dupe, let's call it a dupe, okay? So I feel I have a bunch of dupes to share here with you. First off, my Persona Contour Stick. Um, this is in the shade Sahara. It's called the Bronze Multi Stick, and it does look like a rather dark cream stick. Um, it's a decent texture. It's maybe not quite as soft as the M Cosmetics sticks, but it's still like really easy for me to work with and blend out. And then given this tone, which looks a little less dark once you've swatched it out, and of course lighter yet once you get it blended in, um, I thought I had something that would be a lot like that, and it turns out I do. This is my Catrice Triangle Artist Contour Stick in Warm Brown. And Catrice, by the way, you're not going to find this brand anymore on um, Ulta's website, but I can find a lot of their stuff on Amazon, or you can go straight to the Catrice website. It is a really high quality brand with a lot of various gems. So there's my Persona and there's my Catrice and then I've got them on my cheeks that way as well and I had a really similar experience getting them all blended in so I did that on both sides with both products and they really blend out to give the exact same result and by the way that's my Sephora 56 brush that I'm using on that. So I was very happy to find that dupe. Really similar in texture but they give you the very same tone. Then let's move on to the blue blush that I actually have on today. Um, Tower 28, I know this is a really popular line of products. Um, it's the Beach Please Lip and Cheek in Power Hour. And my dupe for that is one of these e.l.f. putty blushes. It's in the shade uh, Maldives. And I was really thrilled and kind of surprised that I found this dupe because this is such a unique um, kind of toasty shade for blush. You know, it's got some rosiness, but it's also got, I feel like some tan, some brown in there as well. Um, now the these aren't the exact same texture. I actually find the e.l.f. putty blush to be much easier to blend into the cheeks. It almost gives you that kind of cream to powder feel, you know, whereas this has a lot more moisture in it. Um, that's a good news situation if you really do want to do the lip cheek thing because it's going to translate to the lips even better having that moisture in it. This one, you know, honestly, you could probably put it on your lips if you want to, but it won't be quite as good as this one is at doubling up. So just know that. But shade wise on the cheeks, they are really on point. So I've got the Tower 28 on this cheek and then I tried to do the same amount of dabs of my e.l.f. on the other side and I feel like, again, um, the Tower 28 gives you just a little more resistance in blending in just because it does have more moisture, but tone-wise, they are so, so identical. And I'll probably do some other, like, swatch pictures for this video, but just kind of as I swatch for my own knowledge here. I mean, they're just so on point. That's the Tower one, and that's the Elf right there. Um, if you're looking for that deep, rosy, toasty kind of blush, I think these are going to be great come summertime. They'll look phenomenal on tan skin, and yeah, I was pretty proud of that one. And rounding out the things that I am wearing on my skin today, um, this Tula Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. Actually, there's a dupe for that definitely in this e.l.f. product. It's called the, well, it's not called External Use Only. Um, the shade is Cool Berry, and it's called the Daily Dew Stick. Okay, so these have the exact same feel, same kind of little cooling sensation, and the same level of sheen. And I wouldn't typically use these as highlights on top of the skin, I see these more as like kind of a prep step, like you want to brighten and hydrate the under eye area. You could use them almost as a substitute or alongside an eye cream. That's my opinion. But this Tula one really has an icy kind of glow to it, and you can just feel the cooling. I can feel it right there on my hand. Upon application, it feels cold. And these haven't even come out of the makeup fridge. 
And then the Elf is a little bit um, wider stick, but as you can see, as it catches the light, it's got that same icy glow, the same cooling sensation, and really the very same texture. Blending these in felt like the exact same experience, cheek to cheek. So I just put the high-end one, I put the Tula one over here, just kind of dabbed it a little bit right on top of the cheek. No big deal, it can be pretty as a highlight on top of the skin. And then I put the Elf on the other side, and I just feel like, yeah, those things are exact dupes. I haven't really heard anybody talking about this product from e.l.f., but it is definitely cooling. I feel like I could get some use out of it, like kind of going around the eye area and trying it as more of a primer, maybe for concealer or something like that. I have had so many people ask me for a dupe of this blush from Persona. It's called Bubble. It's their super blush, and it is a gorgeous, really hot, cool pink shade. And you don't see a lot of shimmer in this. There might be a little bit of a satin finish, but really it's just all about the color here. And this is a new shade and I hadn't seen it even on Ulta's website. I had only seen it available on the Persona website. Sometimes things change after I come out and say something like that on a video, but it's a really pretty, just life-giving blush. It doesn't look exactly like this on the cheeks as it shears out, but I mean, this is the tone. And then I realized, oh my gosh, I've got that color. I've got that color. It's from Believe Beauty. And this is the Born to Blush shade in the color Wink. And now as I hold them up side by side, this looks warmer. But once I get these swatched out, they look the same. Persona might be a tinge cooler, but texture-wise, finish-wise, just the overall look, that's the uh, Persona one, and that's the Believe Beauty one, and I just thought, wow, those are on point. I feel like I could even put some on top of this look here, because I'm not wearing a powder blush today, and I could just kind of show you how similar they are. So this is the Persona, just with a little e.l.f. blush brush. Just get a little there on top of the cheek. You see how it totally, like, don't be so concerned about the color in the pan when we're talking hot pink blushes because it's more about how it shears out and it looks like um, actual sun-kissed skin or sunburnt skin just slightly. Okay, I'm gonna clean off my brush a little bit if I can here. Get a little bit of the uh, Believe Beauty, tap off some excess, it's very soft. And then look at this. I mean, we're getting the same level here, you guys. We're getting the same look on the skin. It's such a much more natural look than you would expect to get out of blushes in this tone. But I mean, just looking cheek to cheek, that's the same color, okay? I love it. Okay, my rare beauty fans, these Profusion Blush Hour Liquid Blushes, I get these at Walmart. I had heard rumblings that these were really similar to rare beauty blushes, and I do think that just as I use them, I can tell that straight up liquidy texture. Yes, it's totally the same vibe as rare beauty, but I wasn't sure that I would find such on point dupes within the line. So I found two exact dupes. I found one that was really close that I'm not going to include just because it's the undertone of it all is just not quite it. But I have a mini here that came from my holiday set in the shade Peace from Rare Beauty and it's a nice little peachy color. Just couldn't be more of a classic peach, you know. And then this shade called Mai Tai. This is one of my favorites. This was the first one of these that I used. I look at that and I'm like, oh man, it's definitely, definitely the same kind of shade. Swipe them out and I feel like maybe the Rare Beauty has a little more intensity, but they're the very same like tone and they look the same on the skin. All these things have been tested one side of the cheek to the other. And I was just pretty impressed by that. I feel like that's about as close as you're gonna get. And that's the thing with blushes. When we look at them in the pan or in the bottle or just within their own packaging, that's one thing. But when everything shears out on the cheeks, that's another. So if you're willing to really try them on or you know at least shear them out to blush level on your skin, and compare them that way, you might be surprised by the amount of dupes that you find because just looking at them this way, that's not the way we wear blush. I mean, we wear it sheer. Oh man, this might be my favorite one of the whole thing. Cosmo and my full size shade of this stuff that I have in love. Okay, so this is a really unique blush color. Like I don't have any other liquid blush like this. The rustiness, so I'm just getting a little dot of that on. And then this Profusion Blush Hour, this is in the shade Cosmo, and they are just 
on point and then we start blending out and it's just the same shade like I said it reminds me of the tower 28 the pigment is more concentrated somehow in this formula so that's the uh, rare beauty one in love and that's the blush hour in Cosmo and sheared out all over the cheeks I mean they really are a similar formula they apply the same way I would blend those out with um, a Sephora 56 brush or any kind of dense synthetic brush or you could use a beauty blender even that would be good what else do we have here. Oh, I wanted to mention this one because I thought this was pretty good. Recently got this Huda Beauty blush stick in the shade Rebel Red. I was looking at all the shades. They looked really pretty on Sephora's website, but seeing this one on the cheeks of the model, which I believe was Huda herself, it looks so good. So it does have a little bit of a little glimmer shimmer in it, and it really does look like this reddish shade straight up. And I have this Milani Cheek Kiss in Nude Kiss. I need to use this some more, by the way this is a really pretty shade um it's a little more got a little more pink in it but I feel like these two like blended in are so so similar so that's the Milani one and that's the Huda one there and the Huda probably does have the potential to get a little darker but when I was wearing them on my cheeks I was like I, I couldn't tell them apart but that's the kind of thing where like the amount of application matters if you're trying to like go one cheek to the next you would go a little less with this and maybe a little more with this and then you're able to make them look the same you know what I'm saying this is my on the fence dupe that I thought I'd just go ahead and share for anyone who just like doesn't mind being in the ballpark it doesn't have to be exact but yeah I was so pleased to find these dupes you guys I feel like maybe I will move Move on to some new lip dupes in the near future as well but man the blushes these days the cream blushes I've been trying a lot of them and uh, yeah you can definitely save in some different ways and I'll let you know also what's on my skin I'm wearing my Charlotte Tilbury um, the what's that called I'm just trying to share the love and use some different products the beautiful skin foundation that's on all over um, the three different face things that I showed you I got two different contour sticks I got the two different blushes have four different blushes because I layered more on top the elf stick and the Tula stick and then on my eyes I am wearing this little Clinique quad in the shade morning Java can you tell that I've got like a plummy and golden thing happening on my lids I kind of like this these are pretty you know I love Clinique eyeshadows so that's nice and then on my lips I am wearing um, Milani secret this is one of the matte lip colors the lip liner from Revlon in mink that just coordinates really closely to this shade and then on top I found this Charlotte Tilbury um, it's called rosy glow I want to say it's called collagen lip bath I hadn't used it in a while just any kind of sheer gloss on top you know doesn't really matter what you use and that is my look thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed these dupes um, let me know if you've been finding any cool dupes or if you've got an idea of a product that you would like to see a dupe for please let me know wouldn't that be fun like an all request dupe video that would be really cool all right thank you my friends i love you so much and i'll see you soon bye